Okay, so this week's prompt is a sandal, and I only just realised that I forgot to even add the prompt word. Literally the one job I had to do. I was going to add the sandals in front of the fireplace, but I completely forgot, and it's Thursday already, which is my upload day. And I could try putting them in still, but it's no big deal. These prompts were from the beginning just a way to give me experience on YouTube and get me settled in. Okay, so on to the art. If you didn't notice already, I'm making Christmas cards. I'm a huge fan of making Christmas cards and I love how open the field is and you can literally do anything. I seem to go through stages or moods of what medium I choose to make the cards out of. I do a lot of crafty things, but my main thing is watercolour and it's the one I like the most. So the first Christmas card I made was a Christmas wreath. This one is probably my favourite, but I just love painting plants and I definitely don't do it enough, so that's probably why I lean towards this one more. When painting the leaves, I dropped some orange into the still wet leaves to give them some mouldy look or little blemishes because leaves have all sorts of rimples and bubbles all over them and different colours added to them. And I added some gum tree flowers which made it look so good and then I just had to write Merry Christmas and it was done. So this is card number one, the gum tree wreath. This next one isn't my favourite, it's a snowman in the far distance of a forest with some trees blocking most of the foreground. This one was inspired by Pinterest. I do a lot of Pinterest searching beforehand to give me some inspiration if it's been a while since I've made cards. I don't like how the trees turned out. I think I needed to add more foliage detail. And I tried adding some paper layers later on, but it still didn't make it look any better. It's more than likely the paper I'm using. It's a horrifically cheap pad of watercolour paper from like Target, which I thought would be great for making cards, nothing special. You don't want to do too many layers because it is cheap watercolour paper and they tend to reactivate each other so I kept the layers to a minimal amount. I should have done the trees a lot darker at the back just to give a bit of depth but didn't, I <laughs> completely forgot so. And that finishes off card number two which is a snowman in a forest. This third card I really like. It took quite a while to do, but it turned out really cool. It's just a gradient from yellow green to blue green in strips instead of blending them together because I wanted the hard edges between them. It was looking really plain, so I wrote some Christmas quotes in calligraphy with some Christmassy colours. I had to wait quite a while for each strip to dry before applying the next, so I got my hair dryer out just to speed up the process a bit. Even though the heat of the past few days could have dried it a lot quicker if I just chucked it outside. This one is almost like, I don't think it's abstract, it's sort of like minimalistic, which I really liked. It's simple, clean edges. I used a ruler for everything, so it's all straight, no organic lines. And that finishes off card number three, a minimalistic Christmas tree which I really like, so. This one is a holly bush. That's about it. I saw it on Pinterest and thought it looked really cool. I'm not sure if theirs was painted or it was a cut out piece of paper and glued onto another piece of paper. I just thought it was a cool idea, so I pretty much copied it, except for the writing. Again, it was looking really plain on the right side of it, so I added some quotes from songs and some red dots splattered around the place. It looks like blood splatter, but that's okay. So card number four is a holly bush. And now for the fifth and final one. This one was supposed to have the sandals, but I forgot to add the prompt. This is the second time I've forgotten the prompt. I want to say the first time doesn't really count because I was able to incorporate the prompt into the story I was writing, so 
I don't know. Again, it was never really, um, I was never really that strict on the rules of these prompts. I just found the prompt list on Pinterest, I think. I find everything on Pinterest. And then I would just use that to get into YouTube and stuff. I love the way the fire turned out on this one. It looks so cool and the logs look surprisingly good as well. I don't reckon this card would have looked as good if I didn't add the wreath and candy canes up on the wall. They sort of fill up that empty space up the top and give some visual interest. I should definitely tape down my paintings because otherwise they just move around everywhere and it's really annoying when editing. So that's all five Christmas cards done and dusted, but I'm not quite finished yet. I think I can add some more things to make them pop a bit more. On the fireplace I want to add some stockings because a lot of the fireplace cards on Pinterest had them and it looked cool. So just uh, cut out pieces of paper and then put them on so it's like 3D. I wanted to add an extra layer of paper over the foreground trees on the snowman card to make it look 3D but I don't think it looked any good and I wanted to take it off but I used double sided tape and that stuff's pretty good at sticking stuff down and I didn't want to rip the paint underneath so it's on there forever now. So it didn't work on most of them but I think the stockings on the fireplace look really good. And now it's all actually done, we have the gum leaf wreath, the holly bush, the fireplace, green gradient tree and the snowman in the forest. I hope you have a bonza Christmas this year and I hope you either continue drawing or start drawing in the new year. So thank you so much for watching, Merry Christmas and keep drawing.